Hi, it's Andy Phillips here, and in this video I just wanted to give you a heads up on how we do some of our graphics. We get asked quite often uh, via email and text and things like that how we do some of our graphics, and it's primarily done on this product here, which is a Photo and Graphic Designer 6 uh, by a company called Zara. There's a little uh, link below uh, so you can go through and have a look at it. You can get a trial and things like that. I wanted to give you uh, just a quick demonstration and some of the things you can do. Um, for instance, if you want to do a header for your website, um, it's really very, very simple. Uh, all we do is just put uh, a new page up, I'll pull that across, so we've got that. Um, and what you can do is very simply just get a box, you know, let's get a top header, and let's start with a box. The great thing about this product is it's unlike a lot of graphics products where you've got uh, layers to worry about and things like that. There are layers, but they're so easy to manipulate. Um, you can stretch and just drag and drop and all that sort of thing. It's really good for people who are new to graphics. So um, if you just get a box, uh, stick it up uh, like this, uh, it just goes into the, the default colour. There's no uh, border on it. You can see that this is where the, the borders are. Um, but we can literally drag this little pipette once we've got the selector tool on it so we can move this anywhere on the page we want. This little pipette down in the corner here, this colour picker, um, you can drag that to anywhere on the page and it will pick up that colour. So if you've got some colours on, on here already uh, or uh, just got some uh, graphics on uh, one of the, uh, just in a folder, uh, just some iStock stuff that we bought and we're going to use uh, some of these and you can literally just drag uh, a graphic into this, um, do it whatever size you want. If you take this little uh, lock aspect ratio padlock graphic if you just click on that and take that off you can then manipulate it in any way you want um, any sort of size you want any shape you want uh, which makes it really really easy to use uh, but we're going to stick that back on and just take that back to the size it was there you go. Um, and so that's just doing control Z and you can take it back uh, if you've made a mistake on something. Now, just to show you quickly how to knock uh, a graphic up, say we've got this little icon here, and we want to take this color cog and make this background basically the same color. It, all we do is we take a little color picker and we bring it up to here, and we can pick out whichever color we want. So I quite like that, but I don't want it solid colour, because what I want to do is I want to fade it and so this is in the background, so uh, this is what we do quite often, just to knock uh, headers up on websites very very quickly um, so if we just take this this background and we use this tool which is a transparency tool, now if I click on that and do that it will just take that right back to transparent, this is how quick and easy it is, or I can drag this across here and we've got a gradient Again, so, so simple. Now if I just put a border on this for a second, just put a very, very thin border on so we know where our parameters are. So we've got that. And I'm going to put this to the back. So this will be at the front, this will be at the back, so we won't be able to see this as a solid white line down here. Um, I'll just go to Arrange and put to back. As you can see now, it's got a solid the solid colour over the top of it, but it's faded solid colour. So now we've got something which I think is beginning to look quite good, so just make that that size. And next thing we can do is we can actually put something uh, at the back of this. So we're going to do something for an architect, so I've got some pictures here, I've got actually this iStock photo here, and because we can uh, manipulate it, I'm just going to change this fade, I'm going to pull this back this way a little bit, that's right. Um, and this one, because we can change our aspect ratio, I can literally just pull that into this sort of shape here. And what I'm going to do is, because I'm, I'm going to keep it, uh, I'm going to put it to the back or put it behind this. I'll show you how we can do this. If I put this arrange and again put to back. I'm not going to keep it down that far, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fade this as well. So if I just click on the transparency tool again and literally pull that across, I'm going to fade it before it hits that solid line and just pull that up to there and 
So I'm going to make this a bit thinner because we're going to have a quite a thin head on this on this website and pull that up to there. Now I've got that picture. Oh, just control so see that will mean you can if you make a mistake you can just go back. I'm just going to make this slightly smaller and then pull this. Over that. Now all we've got to do is put some text on here. Now the text you can put on here um, is really, really quite cool. Uh, because this is the, the size we're at at the moment, if I just put it to 100, that's the actual size of the header. Now I think that's slightly too big. The great thing is you can zoom in and out of, of this as well. So if I hold down the control key, and if you've got a mouse on your, uh, sorry, if you've got a wheel on your mouse, you can just pull this in and out. So I'm um, just going to take the selector tool. I'm going to Highlight everything, and I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Um, actually, that had the aspect ratio off, so I'm going to put it on. And just put it down so it just resizes that. Now I'm going to take this back to 100. And the, again, the, the the great thing about the zoom on this is that if you want to, you can zoom right in. I mean, it's got a huge zoom in and out. And I'll show you how good this is. If I just zoom into this, you can see how far in you go, how far out you can go. So you can sort of manipulate this very very quickly. It's very quick to do these graphics. So if I just get um, uh, text on here and I'm going to put something like um, uh, London designers or New York designers. Let's put uh, New, oh, New New York designer on this and Again, with graphics, normally when you do these sort of things, uh, it's very difficult to manipulate the, the text in graphics and put them into a way that you want them. So, uh, just very quickly, and put, uh, let's put this up here, and you can just change the size of this so quickly. Um, again, with the pipette, if it's highlighted, you can change the colour um, to any of these down here, or any of the, anything that's on the actual thing, or white, uh, or black, as it was before, but I'm just putting it down to this. Um, you can change the text type, so the fonts, to anything that you have. So these are the ones that are pretty much default. These are the uh, what they call web safe fonts. Um, but these are all the other fonts I've got. So yeah, I've got this type of thing. I've got that. That looks, could look quite good, but that looks a little bit more modern. So let's just take that one for now. I'm not going to do too much to this. Um, let's move that to there. And again, you can move this in and out so you can get you know perfect sizes for whatever you want to do um, and I'm just going to copy that and put it down here so that was a control C control V and it just plonks it straight into the middle of wherever you are um, now I'm going to take this to uh, a white color so again you can just put it put the pip out onto the page because that's white or put it onto this little thing because that's white as well um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fade from there so it actually goes from white to black um, I'm just going to move that up to there and you can offset that to create sort of effects and things like that um, if you wanted it dead on you could zoom right into this and get this perfectly matched up can you see how easy this ball is um, but I actually quite like the idea of it's a little bit skewed. It just gives it a good, good look. And again, you can just do something like um, uh, if I actually do that graphic on there. I was going to put a phone number uh, on there, so you can do eight hundred um, one two three one two three four. And again, you can manipulate that down because we only want it sort of small into that because this is at 80% still so if I just put that back up to 100% and that's it that's your that's your header that's your graphic header done it looks okay it's uh, it can be done a bit more you can put a bit more effort into it but it's very very quick to do so if you want to give this this uh, uh, product a, a quick go you can get a month's trial I think on this have it for a month, try it out, make as many headers as you want, um, start putting graphics into your site, and uh, then let us know how you get on.